All right, so um, we're going to start this morning um, in on our mat in child's pose. So if you want to head um, and get comfortable on your mat um, and sink in to child's pose this morning, you know, and when we start these at the very beginning of class, we're not warmed up yet. So expect that you're going to feel a little bit tight. So you might like to start with a closed leg child's pose. You kind of decide with your body. But as you get into child's pose, maybe even your legs come a little bit apart, you decide. And then as you bring your body down, let's make contact with our forehead. So it might just be folded arms and resting your forehead on your folded arms. So settle into a version of child's pose that feels open to you this early in the practice. Bring your attention to your third eye center on your forehead, between your eyes. Let's just bring our gaze internal. Bring awareness to being on your mat. And then start noticing breath. Breathing up in your chest or are you taking it down to your belly? And let's take that breath with intentionality in through the nose, filling the chest and ribs and taking it all the way down to your belly. Pausing and then tracing the breath back up. Take a couple of those long, slow breaths with intention. And then from here, we're heading into rabbit pose. So we're gonna bring our legs together, place your hands on your ankles, bring your forehead down to your mat. And as you lift your hips, come and roll onto the top of your head. So holding onto ankles, hips are lifted. We're resting up at the crown of our head. I'm just starting the Reverse of our blood flow. An easy way to get some benefits of the headstand here as we begin to open practice. Let's take one slow breath here. And then another big inhale. And as you exhale, slowly lower the hips back down. Bring both of your palms to the mat and bring yourself up into tabletop. Separate out your legs to be hips width apart. Going into kiss and cat cow as we inhale up, looking at the ceiling in cow, exhale round the back and cat and push yourself back down to child's pose. So let's do our flow through, inhale up to cow, Exhale, rounding the back, floating back to child's pose. Breath and movement at your own pace here. And after that round, come back to a neutral spine, dropping the hips over to the right gaze, looking over the shoulder to the left, coming back to center, dropping left, looking right. Again, repeat that on each side, going as deep or shallow as feels good for you. Waking up the hips and the spine. And then we'll come back to center. Inhale the right leg up in tiger pose. Exhale, knee to nose. Let's do four more. Inhale up and in. Last one. 
bring the leg all the way forward. Pop the left hand down as we sweep the right fingertips up towards the ceiling, rotating the wrist one direction and then the other. Lengthening the arm up. And then floating the arm down and we're gonna bring it on the inside of the right foot as we heel toe over to the edge. Our fingers and our toes line up. And first, before you go any deeper, let's just bow here and just start to feel that gentle opening of the right hip. Take a breath into it. And if you're feeling like you wanna go deeper, you can curl the left toes under and take that leg back for more of a quad stretch and make this a little bit deeper lunge. If it's in your practice to come down onto your elbows, you can do that as well. Let's just pause this morning and take this nice, long, slow stretch, breathing, opening up our hips. Coming back up onto your palms. We're gonna to heel toe back to center. You can recenter your knees so that you're at that right angle again as we inhale, sweep our arms up overhead. And this time, exhale straight back behind you. So inhale up and exhale. One more. And let's open the arms to a twist to the right. Just getting into our twist a little different, like back at your front, your back fingers. And then let's float our right arm down and back up. Then bring your hands down to the top of your thighs. We're gonna curl the left toe under and let's lift up, finding our crescent lunge. When you feel solid in your base, extend your fingertips up towards the ceiling. Check in with yourself. Did your shoulders creep up by your ears? And if they did, see if you can slide them down your back a little bit. Fingertips to touch, hands to the heart. Rotating forward, twisting to the right. And breathe. Stretching out that calf, feeling that back to center. Hands come down to the ground, we're in a low lunge. Let's let our left knee come down, our right knee to meet. Find figure or the tabletop again as we go into our flow, into cow. Exhale, rounding to cat, back down to child's pose. So take a couple rounds through. Breath with movement. We'll do one more. Find your way back up to your neutral spine. Tiger pose on the left side as we inhale that leg up, looking at the ceiling. Exhale, nose to knee. Four more. Last one. Bring that leg forward. Planting the right hand as we sweep the left arm up, rotating the wrist in one direction and then the other. Float that arm down on the inside of the left foot as we heel toe over to the edge. Fingers and toes line up. To start, you can just bow your head here. Breathe into what might be a tight left hip this morning. Give it a couple of rounds of your breath. And let's curl the back toes under and slide that knee back for a little bit deeper lunge. If you like to come down to your elbows, go ahead. Take a few more rounds of breath. And then begin to come back up, come back on your palms. If you've been down on your elbows, let's heel toe our foot back to center. Pull the right knee forward a little bit so you're in your regular stance again as we inhale the arms up overhead. 
we're going to flip the palms so that we can bring the arms behind us. Heels of the hands come together, clasp the hands, roll the shoulders back and slide the knuckles down your tailbone as you begin to look up at the ceiling. Taking this version of a back bend, breathing here, opening up the chest and the collarbones. Release the hands and sweep the arms up overhead. And then exhale, open to a T to the left, looking at the back fingertips. Float the hands both above the head and then let the hands come down on top of our left thigh, curling the right toes under, coming up into crescent on this side. So finding your stability, shoulders are back and down stretching out the right calf as we take our fingertips up towards the ceiling, bring them to touch to the heart, coming forward, rotating now for our twist to the left. Take a big breath here. Hands then come down to the floor into a low lunge and let's step our left foot back and make our way into downward facing dog. So pedaling with one foot and then the other. Inhaling forward into plank and exhale, push yourself back to down dog. Two more, inhale forward and up. Last one. Inhale up your right leg, bring your knee in towards your nose and we're coming into pigeon. So take that right leg all the way forward, uncurl the left toes and slide the left leg back. Our hands are on either side as we're up in our proud pigeon. Slowly lower yourself down. You can cross your arms on top of each other and make a place for your forehead to rest or it can come all the way to the floor. If pigeon's not working for you today, the substitute for this is on your back to do figure four. So you decide. Let's just send our breath into the right hip. Our mantra for today is Om Lagu Bhavam. Om Lagu Bhavam. I am a lightness itself. As you're here in Pigeon, take your breaths, invite in that lightness, lightness within your muscles, lightness in your spirit, maybe lightness in the air and the world around you. Om Lagu Bhavam. One more slow breath here. Let's slowly begin to come up. Our hands are on either side of our knee. Curl our left toes under so that we can lift up the hips and take the right toes up to the ceiling. And then bring that foot down. Take a moment here to pedal out your dog again. And then we'll do that on the opposite side. So find stillness as you inhale your left leg up. Exhale, knee towards the nose and bring it all the way through. Uncurl the right toes and slide that leg back. Hands on either side, up in our proud pigeon. And exhale, begin to fold. Your fists can stack on top of each other or your forearms, whatever works for you to have a place to balance your forehead and find your breath. One more slow breath here. And then we'll begin to slowly come up onto our hands on either side, curl our right toes under so we can push our hips to the ceiling. Left leg lengthens up and comes back down. Find your down dog. Begin to walk your feet towards the front of your mat. 
meeting in a standing forward fold. Hands on your shins for an inhale into a halfway lift with a flat back. Exhale, fold down. Two more. This is our last one. We're bending our knees, hands on either side. Reverse swan dive. Inhale yourself all the way up, slight back bend. Fingertips come to touch, hand comes down to the heart. Dropping your hands on either side, roll your shoulders back and down, rotate pinky fingers forward. Close your eyes, lift the crown of your head. Concentrate on feeling grounded right now in all four corners of your feet. Think about those corners up towards the front of your feet on the inside of the ball of the foot and on the outside underneath the pinky toe. And then trace your energy down to your heels. Feel grounded on each side of your heels, on each foot. Grounded and strong in mountain pose, inviting in the lightness. And flutter your eyes open and find your way into warrior two. We're going to start with our right leg behind us. So our left leg is the one that's bent in front. Check your alignment that your heel is lined up with your back arch. Shoulders back and down. Extend out your arms into a T. Gaze over your front fingertips. So feel really strong into this warrior today. And then we're going to breathe. Straightening the front leg, fingertips to touch. Inhale, exhale, sink back in. Three more. Last one. Extended side angle, reaching forward, bending the left arm, right arm by the bicep by the ear. And let's flow here with reverse. So inhale and then float the arms into reverse on your exhale. Inhale, side angle. Exhale, reverse. Another one. And exhale. Straighten that front leg just so you can deepen that reverse warrior. And then let the arm float down. Rotate your left foot towards the front. Hands come onto your waist as you inhale here and exhale with a flat back. Float yourself all the way down. Hands come to the ground in a wide leg forward fold. Just let your head be heavy here. Maybe shake it yes and no. You can micro bend your knees if you feel tight in your hamstrings. Let's walk our fingertips over as we bend our right knee, walk our hands over to the right. So we're lengthening our left leg while we bend our right. And then come back to center as you straighten that leg. And now we're gonna start bending our left leg as we bring our hands over there and really lengthen our right side. And breathe. Let's take ourselves back to center, hands on our hips. And with a flat back, and I was micro bend our knees, inhale yourself back up to standing and open to your warrior two on the opposite side. Feeling strong in your warrior, reaching through the fingertips, straightening the front leg, fingertips touch on your inhale, exhale, sink in. Three more with breath. Last one. Extended side angle. Left bicep by the ear. Chest nice and open. Shine your light bright. Reverse the arms. Keep the legs the same. So inhale back into side angle. Exhale, reverse. Two more. Last one. Ah, 
straighten the front leg, right arm floats down. Let's heel toe back so that our feet are a little bit wider than hips distance. We're gonna go into star pose. So we're coming up on the balls of our feet and lifting our heels up. Jazz hands as those fingertips reach up towards the ceiling. Inhale up. Exhale, lower the heels, bend the knees, bent elbows in at the hips. So inhale, shine your light bright. Exhale in. Inhale up and this time let's do the shaking of those jazz hands, come on. Smile on your face, shine your light. Exhale, bring it on in. And let's straighten the legs and let the arms come back down. So step to the front of your mat. Inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, swan dive forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. And then lower your hips down so that we're in a squat. You're on the balls of your feet. Find your balance. Find a gaze point in front. See if you can let go of your hands and just bring them from the floor up to prayer center. Let's do this balance pose for a moment. So stretching out our feet and practicing some balance here. Take a nice slow breath. And then as you're ready, hands can come back down and just lower yourself down to your mat. We'll take our arms long in front with our palms up and just see how nice and slow you can begin to lower yourself all the way down one vertebrae at a time. Nice. Let the hands come down on either side with the palms up. Take the feet as wide as the mat so the knees can come together and the windshield wiper dropping over to the right. You can linger or go back and forth, your choice. I'm, I'm in the lingering crowd. So letting my left shoulder stay rooted and just feeling that long line of energy down my left side to the hip and the quad out the knee, breathing back to center, dropping left and feeling that stretch on the right side. You can linger as well, or if you like to go back and forth, yogi's choice. Wherever you are, let's do it one more time on each side. Feel that really deep stretch and twist. Back to center and the opposite side. And then come back to center with the flat feet on the mat about hips width apart going into figure four. So we'll cross our right foot and set it over our left leg. And then you can lift that left foot up and thread the hands around the thigh. Let's make sure both feet are flexed and active. As you gently bring the thigh towards the chest and use the right elbow for some resistance. Stillness or rocking, yogi's choice. Two more deep breaths. And then coming back down with that foot, uncrossing. Right, planting on the right, crossing left, and lifting that foot up as you thread the hands this time around the right thigh. Remember to keep both feet flexed and active. Stillness or rocking. Couple of long, slow breaths here. And come back to stillness as we take the right foot down and uncross the leg. Bring both knees in towards the chest for a big squeeze. Bring your head up off the ground. Forehead comes towards the knees. Nice, tight, tight squeeze. 
and release that down, taking any last movement that you would like to take as you make your way down into Shavasana on this Wednesday morning. As you find your way down, let's check in with the body. Think about the shoulder blades reaching towards each other, maybe even lift them up off the ground so that you can open up your collarbones a bit more. Let your palms be up to receive. Let your toes and ankles just fall out to the side. Open up your mouth wide. And release. And again, wide open mouth. And release any tension from your jaw and your face. Feel that softening through your chest, your collarbones ready to shine your light. Let your arms, elbows, wrists, palms, and fingers soften. As you take your next inhale, begin to relax your torso on your exhale, your ribs, belly, and hips. Trace that down softening your thighs, knees, calves, ankles, soles of the feet, and toes. Enjoying a full body breath. And just feel light and airy. Om Lagu Bhavam. Om Lagu Bhavam. I am lightness itself. Dust the tips of our fingers with our thumbs, wiggle our toes, bring the arms up over the head, stretch and reach with one arm and then with the other, rolling on to the right side. Just pause here for a moment and give yourself gratitude for making time for self-care, always a good thing. Make your way back up, finding our comfortable space here to bring our hands to heart center so that we can close our practice. Cleansing breath and omen three shanti. So cleansing breath first, inhale through the nose. Exhale, mouth. Inhale to chant. Oh. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. May there be peace in our hearts, peace in our words, peace in our thoughts. Thanks so much for joining me today. Namaste.